me for trying. You know I'll be lying, saying you're the one. Hi guys, Cat here. So I'm here. I know. In the last video with that little quick little update thing that I uploaded. Um I said my next video is going to be a makeup video. But it wasn't actually. It was going to be, but then, you know, I tried to put it on the computer to upload it and finish the edit and blah, 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 hootie blah. And somehow it corrupted the footage and I lost everything. <sighs> well, still a little bit mad. So I figured, I'm actual trash. I haven't uploaded in a while. I might as well do a little paranormal story time since the creepiest shit keeps happening, Randall. Okay, so... So, I'm going to start off with last night. So, it's about 10.30 or so. And Randall lives with me. And it's just it's just a thing we do. We share a bed. It's fine. Whatever. Anyway, so about 10.30 last night, I decided I was going to go to bed. He had already been asleep for like six hours at that point. Because, you know, boy sleeps forever. But... I'm in bed. Anyway, so I'm getting ready to go to bed. Turn on the air conditioner, turn on the fan, get in bed, lay down. And I'm just sitting there and I'm like trying to go to sleep. But then like, I don't know how to explain it. But Randall has a really, really powerful energy to him. And it's just like immediately when you see him, you, you either get the energy you get his energy but you either he's a big teddy bear or oh my god he's going to rip my face off with a spoon okay those are the two vibes you get from him when you first meet him the i'm a teddy bear i'm gonna rip your face off with a spoon that's what you get so i'm like laying in bed and i'm trying to sleep and i'm i got my eyes closed and everything but then i'm fi i figured like he was having a nightmare or something because like he tossed and turned real quick and I just felt like his energy was like, rawr, I'm mad about something. Like, this, this is the only way I can explain it. Like, that I can understand it, this is the only way I can explain it. That his energy was like, rawr, I'm mad at something. And I felt like him sit up. But then I looked over and I'm like, he's just laying right there. And then I, like, I could feel like something was still there. So I ended up looking over at him, and it was, I know you guys are going to call me crazy. You're not going to believe me. Go ahead. Don't believe me. But I saw Randall laying in bed, but there was also another, ver like an anomaly version of him, like straddling him, looking down and watching him. And I don't know, I just, don't ask me, I don't know, it's just what I saw. And I'm just like looking at it, and I think it, I think it like saw, felt that I was looking at it, because then it like looked over at me, and his face like contorted and got real mean. Looking, and it's just like, ugh. Anyway, have you ever seen Buffy? The only way I can explain why its face like contorted to is the vampires in Buffy. How their face like goes rawr and everything. I'll put an image up like right here. Right here. That's what it looked like. Anyway. But that's what happened. And like when we, when I woke up this morning, I'm like, bro, what? Like, I woke up this morning, I'm like, bro, what the hell were you dreaming about last night? And he keeps telling me he doesn't remember what he was dreaming about. Because obviously it must have been something real powerful if it causes energy to go, I'm going to eat you. But it's like after like its face contorted, I like, I'm like, I ain't trying to die. Buffy is not here today. And then I came out here and sat in the living room, which it's kind of dark. So you don't, you don't, don't got a background right now. Anyway, but I came out and sat, sat out here until about 2 a.m. when I finally was like, I'm gonna go see if I can still feel it. So I went in the room and I'm like, oh, thank goodness. Turned on the AC, turned back on the fan, laid down, went to sleep. That is story one. Anyway, um, 
one of the other ones is I was like getting ready for bed or something. I just like gotten out of the shower, like which I'm fresh out of the shower now, but it's like I got out of the shower and I was coming back out here to do something. I was either like live streaming or YouTubing or something. Like watching YouTube or something. Um, if you don't know, I do I do live streams on the app Live Me. It's connected to my Twitter, just yeah. Anyway. Um but it's like I looked back into the room as I was coming out, or like I was walking out of the bedroom, and I looked back into it to like see if I had forgotten anything that I need to come back out here. Um, and I saw what looked like a hand coming out from around our curtain. And it's just a hand sitting on the curtain, like it's about to pull it back. And I'm just like, uh uh, this is not happening today. This, this is not for me. Haven't you ever noticed like my, my stories are like really, really short? Because I always nope the hell out. Maybe you should nope the hell out so often. I'm, I'm going to keep noping the hell out. Uh -oh. Okay. So it was like a week or two ago. Like last week or the week before. Something like that. Um, I was coming home from work. And like Randall was already in bed and sleeping. And I like cl came in, climbed in bed. And I was just like laying there. And like you could hear stuff, like like I'll 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 describe because I tried to explain it to Randall, but I didn't explain it too well. It was like stuff moving around, but it was like and like walking and stuff just moving out here. While I'm trying to, well, I'm like laying there, just just laid down, and then I just heard like stuff like that all out here. And I'm like, do I wake him up? Do I go check it out myself? Or do I hide under my blanket and pretend like it's not happening? So, obviously, you know which one I picked. I hid under the blanket and pretended like it wasn't happening. Get to. Okay, so there's this one. I told it in a previous video about the doppelganger that we saw. Well, that I saw and Molly saw. But, so what I had done is I had a, uh, one of my friends who is a, a Wiccan, a true Wiccan, bless a charm. And I was told to put it up and it, if the only thing, the only time we would have to worry about anything is if it starts, dis if it disappears. And back, I've been... I've been here. I haven't really done anything. And the charm is gone. It disappeared back in May. And this is the stuff that's been going on since. So, I'm probably going to die. We're probably going to die. No. Any whore. So, yeah. That was all. That's all the ones for now. I mean, not really. There's a lot more. Um... I did have a really bad experience with sleep paralysis, but that'll be a different video. Which, like, caused me to lose my gift for a while, but I was like, yeah. That's a whole nother video. Um, yeah, that's all I got for today. See you guys. Bye. Oh, I'm a gummy bear. Yes, I'm a gummy bear. Oh, I'm a yummy, tummy, funny, lucky gummy bear.